Welcome back to part two of showing you how the Audio Hunt can make the world your studio and even bring new and exciting collaborations your way. Let's remind ourselves of the song by Jason Fakera and then dive into how I achieve the vocal sound by making use of the Audio Hunt's vast library of studio gear that you can gain access to remotely all through the click of your mouse, trackpad, iPad, mobile device. I don't know, whatever you're using. To carry you there For the vocals, I received one lead vocal comp, some backing vocals and a choir of vocals which sang in harmony like a pad in the chorus part. For the lead vocal, I used a combination of EQ, compression and harmonic distortion to achieve the final result. Let's listen to the vocal part unprocessed. Won't you walk with me and down this road and won't you tell me all that you know, will you tempt me to be the one who sweeps you off your feet to carry you there? Okay, so let's take a look at how I ensured the vocals sat forward in the mix but complemented the tone and style of the music. The Oxford EQ was used to roll off the bottom end, which combined a 150 hertz bump of around a dB to add a touch of warmth. That was followed by the UAD API channel strip. I love this plugin. It adds bite to a track when pushing the gain slightly and the compressor is great for catching peaks. On this track, the EQ removes more low end and boosting the top at 1.5 and 15K brings the vocal further forward in the mix. The only other EQ I used was on the subgroup the UAD Neve 1073 is doing one thing, and that's boosting very gently at around 7.2 kHz. The 1 to 3K range can be quite grating on the ear, depending on the part. So a great trick that often works is to boost outside of that region. In my case, 7.5 really helped to pull Jason's vocal up and forward in the mix. Check it out. Won't you walk with me? And down this road, won't you tell me All that you know, will you tempt me To be the one who sweeps you off your feet To carry you there Oh yeah for the main compression, I first compared UAD's 1176 and the LA-2A, both classics on vocals. For me, the LA-2A seemed to work best, but I really wanted to add some real analog warmth to the vocal part. So after establishing which UAD compressor worked best, it was back to the audio hunt to find a real life LA-2A. David, my original collaborator in LA, from the audio hunt had a modified LA-2A and told me it sounds glorious, so I had to give it a try. I made a new booking with him and sent off the part with my reference notes, reference tracks, a screenshot of my UAD LA-2A settings and waited for LA to send back my new LA-2A vocal part. So let's AB the original with the plugin and the LA-2A hardware unit. Won't you walk with me? Won't you walk with me? Won't you walk with me? 
And down this road, won't you tell me? And down this road, won't you tell me? And down this road, won't you tell me? All that you know, will you tempt me? All that you know, will you tempt me? All that you know, will you tempt me? To be the one who sweeps you off your feet To carry you there Like with the bass treatment, as discussed in part one, I still use the original vocal part. I compressed it heavily, distorted it and blended it back into the mix. So the audio hunt didn't just give me a glorious vocal sound, it gave me the ability to parallel process the vocal too enhancing it further. Check it out. The final element to this mix is the bus processing. I usually run entire mixes through my Neve 8803 EQ and the Allen Smart Compressor. The Neve is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Like the drum parts, I'm boosting the lows with a shelf at around 80 Hz and increasing the mids and high mids from about 800 Hz up. I'm not boosting a great deal here, but it's enough to pull the top end forward and the lows on this EQ add a great deal of richness and warmth. The compressor is modelled on the famous SSL bus compressor. After all, it was designed by the same guy. It's a fast VCA based compressor and the settings on this track help give more punch and dynamic movement, which ultimately glues the track together. The bus processing really changes the tonal quality of the mix. So let's A, B this and see how it compares with the analog and the digital sound. Adding analog isn't about trying to create something better than a purely digital mix. It's simply another choice or colour that you can add to your own mixes. The great thing about the audio hunt is it allows you to shape your sound and effortlessly add the analog world to your sessions and productions without having to spend thousands of dollars on your own hardware. For me, personally, the audio hunt has provided new connections that will likely go on professionally in the future. So it's not just a place where you can remotely hire gear. The world truly is your studio. For tour dates and new music, don't forget to check out Jason on Facebook. And if you're interested in adding the audio hunt to your workflow, I highly recommend you browse the site and discover the amazing gear that could be on your next record. If you'd like to learn more about producing music in Logic Pro, why not check out my site, masteringinlogic.com, where you can learn all about the secret art of mastering your music using Logic's plugins. You can even grab my own personal Logic compressor and EQ presets. Thanks for watching and happy mixing and mastering. Just for a while Just for a while Just for a while and Days go by And I want word from you Like a silent stare For you bring me to my knees And pray for mercy from all my eternal sins 
Let's run away to that place where we can spend all that.